when I came here as the director, there was a project already in place to, uh, to renovate the grotto, and, and we're just so blessed to be able to have done that. It began in 2012. The VA and the American Veterans Heritage Center started some of the structural restoration and some of the plantings. It now is a, a healing environment. It's part of our clinical environment where we're bringing veterans here who want to take a time for meditation. We're here to dedicate the Memorial Grotto Fountain in honor of Louis V. Gunkel, one of the founding fathers of the Dayton Medical Center. During the Civil War, Louis Gunkel served in the Ohio Senate, and he was arguing and pushing for an Ohio soldier's home. When we develop a garden, uh, we get very emotional about it, particularly a Purple Heart Garden because of it's so meaningful. It reminds us of our military veterans and our heroes. It's a tribute to them. Uh, the arch that we see in the background was built in 1905. It was uh, replaced on an original one that had been built by the Civil War veterans. Uh, it's sort of the centerpiece of the lower level here and it leads up to the grotto. We uh, really would like to have more volunteers because we're working on about 12 acres. What motivates the volunteers is they see the place and they fall in love with it. Their first question is, how can I help? And some people want to volunteer and others say, how can I donate money? What I love about volunteering here at the Grotto is that it's such a beautiful place to work. But even more than that is the fact that we're really doing something for the veterans that are here. Uh, there's a number of reasons I like coming here. One is just to see the impact we have made on the site and knowing we're bringing it back to its former glory. And the other is we get comments from people as they come through and say how peaceful it is or helpful it is when they come to visit their friends or family in the hospital or the hospice. Part of our mission on this side of the campus is, is creating uh, our Victory Ridge, which is our hospice unit. And we've created a pathway that allows folks to come here, even if they are in a wheelchair, they can come explore uh, the, the, the grotto and they can see it from their bedroom windows in our hospice unit. We must preserve the grotto to provide peace, tranquility, uh, the curing of the uh, scarring of the human soul, which is what one experiences through uh, armed uh, conflict. And it's a place for the community and for the family of veterans to come to truly appreciate what it means to sacrifice for something or someone greater than oneself. This project would not have been accomplished without the community support that we got from the Master Gardeners. Our facility is funded for health care for our veterans, and with the support from the Master Gardeners, we were able to really put the icing on the cake, if you will, to this wonderful environment.